What's going on guys? It's your boy Evan and you know I'm always up to no good. So today we're actually going to be doing the first mod to the Jeep SRT and that is actually swapping out the old key with the new key. So we're pretty much going to be taking the chip that's inside this key, putting it in this key and changing out that shell with the new shell. And as you can tell the key is actually falling apart. It's actually split open. So instead of losing my key, let's swap them out and let's make it a brand new key what's going on guys so we got a set of keys here so this is the new key this is the new key came in the package over here this is my old key as you can tell i have it taped up but it has split open so we're going to take the internal which is the chip and take the chip out of here which is the brand new chip and we're just going to put the chip in here with the new outside uh, uh shell or casing because i really don't need to put a new chip into this one I just, I just need to put the current existing chip that works fine this chip here works fine as well but i just need to change the outside shell so we're gonna go ahead and swap them out and uh we're gonna get to it so i'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver to fly, uh open it up actually this is already open as it is so i'm just going to remove the tape i was holding it in place this is the original key for this jeep so i'm just going to remove the tape there we go so leave that there it's split open as it is i'm going to take this key out of the bag a little ziploc bag Get the key out, it's nice and, nice and clean, brand new key. So we're gonna actually take the key out. It's got a blank key, so I'm gonna have to, actually have to get the key cut because this one has a key in it. So I'm gonna have to take it to a locksmith and have them cut this key. So I could have one for this key. I mean, for that key fob. So let's put that to the side. We're going to try to split this open. And take the battery out of this baby. Oh. Flung to the other side. All right, let's gently open it. Okay. Got this out. Take the battery out like this. So this existing chip, we're going to put it in here. And, uh, do I need to put the battery in first? I might need to. Oh, yeah, you do. I think you do. Yeah. Let's see if we can put the battery in. Um, I think the battery goes like that. Okay. So it goes, in. So it goes like this. Yes, it does. It goes like that. I'm going to take the new shell. Don't come out.
Okay, so. Looks like it was put in. Looks like it, we're going to test it later, so. Just going to put this key in here. Actually, I want to get a new key because this is not good. Maybe I get two new, new keys. Yeah, because this is loose. Let's see how, how this fits. Yeah, a lot more snug. So, I might actually get... I might actually get them cut. Alright, so leave that to the side. Leave that to the side. Put the chip here to the side. We got a brand new working key. It works absolutely amazing. So we're going to pry it open. Take the key out. Okay, so we're going to pry one side open. Alright, so we're going... All right, so I got it open. Didn't break anything. Put the old chip to the side. Put the chip out.
so. There we go. It went in. So after a little bit of fiddling, let's actually put it in raw. Went in. So hopefully the keys work. We can start the car up and see if everything works. Oh. All right, guys. So to swap out the parts, obviously these are new chips, but like I said, the chips are currently working fine. So uh, maybe I could keep one spare key just in case. And I could always program it with a new chip or I could just buy a new chip a new uh, key in general and put it in. So we'll see. So basically we got two working keys. Let's go test them out on the car and see if it works. Hey guys, so a little update. I couldn't start the car or uh, use the, see, the key fob buttons. They don't work. So obviously this is a new one. So what I realized was that on the old one, I forgot to move that metal tab that is on the back of this silicone rubber sleeve for the keys so on the back it has a tab that goes on to this part and when you hit the buttons it makes contact on the circuit board so that's why it wasn't working when I was clicking on the key fob so I'm gonna go ahead I already did it on one remote control right here or a key fob so this one works see so we'll go ahead and do it on this one and then I'll show you guys that they both work all right guys so both keys work so we got one here unlock lock and then the other key unlock and lock so the only thing i need to do is get a new cut key and we should be good for both keys i'll catch you guys in the next video